Now is the time to farm, my friends. Let's tell you why that is, alongside some tips for the new season challenges. Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. The new season challenge is just about to begin. I always do this. 12 minutes until the reset. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and collect all of my rewards, make sure to upgrade my base on both of my accounts, and I want to ensure that we give you some tips as well, because I like to bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos, so if that's the type of content you want to see, I would recommend subscribing and also turning on the notification bell. Now, if you are going to be purchasing the new Gold Pass, remember that you can help to support your favorite content creator in-game by using their code in your settings. My code is JUDO, and it is much appreciated, my friends. Okay, so let's go ahead and just collect everything that we can to begin with. It has to be the hero skin. We do not want to miss out on that. Book of Heroes, I cannot actually use. All of my heroes are maximum level in the home village, in the builder base. So unfortunately, on my main account, it is going to have to be 50 gems for a Book of Heroes. I cannot believe that. Dark Elixir, I'm actually full again. And the there's not much point in boosting up a super troop for the sake of using a Dark Elixir rune. So, again, it's painful, but I'm going to have to sell that one for gems as well. Not the tips I would give in terms of making sure... Now, the, the wall rings are something that we can upgrade, guys. So, let's make sure that we upgrade our walls because that's the main thing I have left. Just walls to upgrade. Now, we can go ahead and collect all of the wall rings. I actually end up getting a lot of gems from the cold pass on my main account because I end up selling everything back. I already have the maximum amount. Rune of Builder Elixir, we could actually use that. So I've got 1.9 million. Let's see what we could do here. Oh, I don't think I can upgrade anything. Nope, nothing. So it does make sense in this situation though when I'm going to get 3 million Builder Elixir to use the rune. So normally, the recommended advice would be to use it in a situation where you have the least amount of resources. But for the sake of the gems, I'd rather have that extra amount. So I'm actually going to use the amount on the hog gliders because I kind of like them and they're not maximum level for me. Again, all of my spells are maxed, so we don't need to worry about that. Book of Fighting, I could finish off the hog glider, couldn't I? But how much would that give us? Probably not even necessary because I don't have the amount and I don't want to use the rune again. I'll upgrade the hog glider another level later on when I have enough. And then I can use the rune when I have zero loot. I'm actually going to sell that for gems as well. How many gems is that already, guys? Maybe someone can tell me. Book of building we have. Okay, let's take a quick look here before we jump across to my other account. I don't think there's anything else I can upgrade bar walls with elixir i'm saving on to the gold because i still have archer towers to upgrade so that's the main account done let's switch to my second account okay seven minutes remain guys i think we have enough time here let's power through and just collect anything that we can make sure that we can spend the other stuff so let's go to the most expensive wall four million that's pretty good Ah, I hate this though because even with the perks in mind where I get 20% discount look, it still wants to use five wall rings. I think that should decrease now that it's bang on four million to four wall rings. But never mind, we are where we are. Let's upgrade another one here. Ah! I just upgraded with Elixir. That's not what we wanted. I just wanted enough to collect the wall rings. Rune of Builder Elixir again. Builder Base on this account, this is the account we rushed in order to just fix it. So let's take a look. What could we upgrade? I guess we can upgrade the Sneaky Archers would be a good amount. Look, that gives us 19,000. Whenever you are using your runes, you want to make sure to use them. When you have the least amount, that gives us a huge amount of Builder Elixir. Very nicely done on that one. Book of Spells. Okay. Now that's something I don't necessarily want to get rid of. The poison spell you use on every single attack. 
Now, I know it's 160 Dark Elixir, but I use that on farming, I use it on war attacks, so it makes sense to have it maxed, right? And I very rarely take the poison spell from my clan castle donations. I tend to get a different spell, so the poison is one I want to max. So let's go ahead and spend the Dark Elixir. Let's use the book in order to help us out. And then that means we now have enough that we can go ahead and... What? What? Did I have two book of spells? Is that what just happened there? Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, what an epic fail that was. Okay. Are there any other spells we can upgrade? We can upgrade the Earthquake spell. I guess we need to do it, right? Three days. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. I would probably rather have the 50 gems at this point. But out of spite, out of spite, guys, I'm going to get it. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to get the book. So there we are. Four minutes left. I told you I could it fine till the last moment, but I have some tips for you for the new season challenge because now is the time to farm. Reason for that, everybody gets their season bank. 25 million gold, 25 million elixir, plus some people have gold and elixir stacked up ready to use. So everybody's storages are full. My farming attacks, I had a video for you, the top five farming armies. I'd highly recommend checking that one out if you need a farming army, but I tend to use the miners for Dark Elixir. Let's show you this replay. I will do a live attack for you as well. But it's very easy. I use the king on one side. I use my queen on the other. And I send all of my miners in one line through the middle with the Grand Warden. Then I use early heal spells around any splash damage. So two wizard towers here coming into the base. One heal spell has to be done. As we move through, I actually missed the force towards the single target inferno. I thought I'd have a little bit more pressure there, but not to worry. As long as my queen's out of the way, it doesn't matter. If you had clan castle troops, that's the primary area to be bringing them in. Now, with the Grand Warden's ability, remember the miners will duck under the town hall if you are attacking a town hall 12 or 13. So you don't necessarily have to worry about using the ability through the Giga Bomb. You can use it just about anywhere. I tend to use it moving into the middle of the base and just before miners tend to split up. You want to ensure that the ability covers as many miners as possible. Always use the heal for the splash. I actually had a misplaced heal on this one. I don't know if you've seen it, but always use it for splash damage defenses and where the majority of your miners are. Now, I'm going to skip through the rest of this because this is what tends to happen. You don't always get all of the el Dark Elixir because it is a strategy that can easily go wrong. You're just throwing mass miners into the base. Nothing crazy, but it's an elixir-based army where you're trying to get dark elixir. But as you can see, in many situations, it is strong enough that you can get into the base and even take it entirely down, getting all of the loot. And that was before the reset. So how long have we got? Two minutes and 29 seconds. Let's cut the video. Let's come back. Actually, what I did want to do on this account is firstly go ahead and put code judo in because it's not in there we didn't have the c in the shop so let's put code judo in then let's take a look at these are there any that we need on this account i actually don't think there are the hero mixer that's actually pretty good value look book of heroes training potion power potion let's wait and see when the season resets if i can upgrade a hero which actually i'm going to be able to aren't i because the elixir i can upgrade the grand what i'm gonna get it there we are, purchase all set. It means we have the Book of Heroes. The main reason for that is my Grand Warden. I will, oh, I actually have enough now, look. I might as well go and do that because I have the 20% perks on. So let's do that. Let's use the, well, what else could we upgrade? Let's take a look at this. Remember, you always, well, we have 50 seconds. We need to speed up. I have the season bank filled, ready to go, but I have the training builder boost for 20%. So I'm getting upgrades quicker here. We are time pressured. Archer tower. Let's get that upgraded. Do we have anything in here? Uh, we have the rune of elixir. We might as well use that. Let's use that. Let's get this warden finished off. Let's upgrade him up again. Ah, book of everything. No. Do I use the book of everything on him? Ah, I'm going to, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait here until the season resets. 15 seconds, guys. 
and then it's i tell you what i'm going to stay online here i'm going to screenshot just for the thumbnail a couple of these moments and i'm going to show you what happens when the season ends because the season challenges essentially go away for a moment let's screen set the one second as well there we go yes might as well screenshot that. I'll share it on Instagram. I always like to share the 25 million gold and elixir, 250,000 dark elixir as well. That's pretty awesome. And I also want to give you a tip in terms of what you should be doing every time the season resets before you send your season back. Spend your season back. This is really important, guys. It makes sure to give you good value. Whilst we're waiting of that, we've got the Grand Warden upgrading. Do we use that book of everything? <laughs> It means at least we can upgrade him again. I think we do. Let's go ahead and do that. It means we can use the elixir when I have done this next point in order to get better value. So let's go out there. Let's find a base. Now, I am actually a little bit too early onto the game because people have to log in for their season bank to be deposited into their storages. So for me, being online with the reset, I haven't gotten a huge amount in the different spins but just know that in the first day or two you can get really good loot with farming so where do we attack here i've got my king in i've got my queen in now let's send the miners in from this side see a giant bomb let's get the grand warden in and then let's use a heal a heal and i think with the battle blimp i'm going to send it in from this side let's use a wizard next to my king king's ability Rage, we've took out the clan castle troops there, which is not ideal. And ah, uh, my miners took a lot of damage there. I think I lost a lot of miners, in fact. Queen's ability might still be okay here, but I'm not too sure. Holding on to that Grand Warden's ability as long as I can. We've got some miners down there by the queen as well. Let's wait until the miners get next to the town hall. Let's use it now. So you don't have to use the ability under the town hall with the Giga Bomb. But it actually does a lot of damage to the miners. Notice the balloons that I missed as well. I did say that I missed the clan castle. Indeed, we did. Let's use the heal right now because we've got two wizard towers the miners are coming to. And the two balloons that we failed to take out with the poison, I actually didn't see them. I only seen the e-drag and I figured that was the only troop that was in there. So big mistake on my part because you can't take out an e-drag with the poison, but you can take out the loons. So obviously you would go for the loons. I didn't see them. However, the miners, as I said, they're relatively powerful. Even if you don't get all of the loot, they're powerful enough that you can get through to get majority of the loot. And in this situation, I definitely got lucky, but it gives us a decent amount of loot. I'm not actually going to get it because my storages are full. So, Benjo, I'm sorry, buddy. I just took your loot for nothing, but I wanted to demonstrate to you guys. Here we are, the new pirate king look at how beautiful that looks okay so what i'm going to do is give you my tips for the new season now i've already completed one of the challenges there in fact and notice that the te oh they've changed it okay so normally 120 points is the 10 percent builder boost they've moved that up to 160 now that's not the end of the world because basically you can still get that within one day now let's take a look at the challenges i see that one of these i've already almost got 50 percent of it but that's going to take you three attacks with three stars to get this challenge that's 100 points 24 a star in the main village 20 for a star in the builder base and 15 donation troops is 160 this is actually an easy one as well earn a star in four times versus battle using two boxer giants that might be easier for you in fact it's probably quicker than the main village one but if you're playing the main village you're doing a couple of attacks that's probably an easier one to do so either of these two the building breakdown or the punch everything would be my recommendations alongside the three daily tasks obviously to get yourself to the 10% builder boost then if we look at the amount of resources that we have we have 55 million with gold and elixir combined 10% off is 5.5 million gold or elixir whatever of I guess 2.5 of each you know what I mean it's a big saving let's check out the rewards so we've got a book of building early on I guess that's helpful when you're spending your season bank loot 
And then, yeah, bigger season bank, book of fighting, six wall rings. I do like the amount of wall rings we get in the season pass. I think it's definitely helpful because personally, I don't put a lot of loot into walls if I have defenses to upgrade. Six more wall rings. And I do like that we get a bit of a mixture from the builder base now as well. We never used to get a huge amount of loot or items for the builder base. And there's a good mixture between the home and builder base now as well. Now we move to the 20%. I'm not nothing too impressive so far, to be honest. But here's the runes. Rune of Builder Elixir, Rune of Gold, Rune of Elixir, Rune of Dark Elixir. That's what I like to see. And two Book of Heroes at the end. I always like when there's two Book of Heroes. You guys will have seen the Pirate King. There he is. Amazing. That is going to wrap it up for this one, though, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you do want to know your farming armies, the top five, I'd recommend this video. I'd highly go and check that one out. It will help you in farming right now when everyone's season banks is full alongside the subscribe button. Until next time, you have a good day and I will see you then.